No ideas are powerful. They can impact whole generations, change history. But only when we have the courage to turn ideas into reality, to look at problems and see solutions. South Africa needs innovators, dreamers, and doers. We need people like Z. After an interview in the city, Z counts coins at a taxi rack. She's not sure she has enough to get home. Next to her, there are five other young people doing the same thing. How can we afford to look for work if we don't have jobs? Z asks. Together, they decide to act. They approach the local taxi association and agree on ways to cut the traveling cost for young people going to interviews. Word gets around to other taxi associations in neighboring towns. Soon, they've made headline news. By acting together, Z and her peers made one small action that shifted gears to create real change. Youth Capital is supporting young people like Z to develop their ideas and build networks across South Africa. Through the Youth Capital Network, young people are changing odds for a generation, from small action to big policy. It's time to shift gears. Join us. Ladies and gentlemen, doing incredible, amazing work right here in the beautiful South Africa. Remember, you can still let us know on WhatsApp how you're feeling about the show. More importantly, how you feel about youth unemployment. You can send us a WhatsApp to 074 I'll say it again because we are Shesha And I'm not going to be about you. 074 0202, or if you're like a social media bug and you're like, Lodile, I don't do WhatsApp, I do Instagram and Twitter and Facebook. Make sure you hop on our socials and let us know. It is XA underscore live on Twitter and Instagram as well as XA live on Facebook. Still having the very important discussion, which is all about youth unemployment. So the foundation, as well as the Akadu people, are in the Bildizi, okay? And they're going to be talking to us about how their opinions are. But now that we've been joined by some, you know, younger people, I feel like I'm with my age group. <laughs> I'm at 2000. I'm at 2000. You know, it's Tommy Zaka. Yeah. <laughs> and they're going to be talking to us about their experiences and how they feel. And how does it feel to be so young yet to know that there's such a huge unemployment rate? So we're going to be asking them the question. But before we dive into them, let's go to Josie. Before we let you go, um, before the ad break, I wanted to find out, do you feel like a model like Sozo can work just in, the, in your community or can be modeled in different communities all over South Africa, possibly all over the world? No, definitely. I can go to... Uh, many um, countries even, you know. Um, our module is created for people to start their own thing. Mm. So it's, um, yeah, it's for them to create something themselves. It's not only for themselves, yeah. yeah. So the pandemic hit us all last mm. year and then the president was like, from March, we are literally closing this country down. You are not going anywhere. And, and that has a, a lot of, a lot of negative impact in our lives as well, whether you're a young person or an older person, whether you're a student or you are of the working working class. Yeah. You guys come from a community, community, two different communities that already is affected by a high rates of crime, unemployment, mm. education is also not a good thing. Yeah. So how did the pandemic negatively, negatively um, add on all of those things that you as a community were currently facing, especially as a young person? Mm. I am a matriculant, so it negatively affected me because I don't get the same time, a lot of time to study, first things first. Yeah. The work doesn't get explained to us mm. like it was before the pandemic. Mm. Yeah. Um, third thing, we, us as matriculants, we're going through a lot at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. Um, some of my friends, they even tried to commit suicide because mm. it was too much for them. And I don't think it's a nice thing. Yeah, not yeah. at all. Absolutely that's, not at all. That's so tough, especially because you're already going through so much. Now you have to, like, and also matric is so important because, I mean, that's what qualifies you to go into university. So I'm wishing all your friends some love and hopefully we can shed some light on the things that you guys are going through. I see you grabbing the mic. I feel like you have <laughs> something to say. <laughs> I got something to say, girl. <laughs> I, 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 like, say now. For did you see the show? It's like, <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I love you, girl. Um, so based on your question, I would just like to say as a matriculant as well, how COVID has impacted us is that um, despite having a COVID here, we are still required to produce the same amount of work as 
all the matriculants before us. Yeah. Like, they didn't have to go through this. Yeah. We would, our grade 11 year was taken away from us, and now the COVID also during our grade 12 year, mm. yet we are still called to produce the same results as the previous years, which yeah. is difficult for yeah. most matriculants as, um, she said that there are also, like, I can also say, like, some of my friends are facing depression, anxiety, all because of this. And I think yeah. that it's not fair on yeah. us as well. Yeah, yeah, you mentioned that some of your friends are, 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 like, are literally going through a lot because they really want to do well and they have been compared to previous years. Yeah. How have you been able to stay positive? Well, for if me... Positive, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, girl. <laughs> Well, for me to stay positive in this time, I just surrounded myself with positive people. Mm. I blocked my ears to the news that is happening around the world because if you let all that pressure from the outside get to you, you start, like, depression, it's um, pressure from the inside that you let from outside. So yeah. if you just, like, block out the bad news from the outside and stay positive, we know that there's nothing that is impossible in this world, that if you set your mind to something, that you can do it. So yeah. how I've been keeping myself positive is just knowing that, hey, no matter what's going on, I'm going to put my best into this year. Mm. And whatever is the outcome, I know that you all did I did was best. my best. Oh, yeah. Yes, I love that. And you're part of the, you're from uh, the Solar Foundation as well, right? I want to find out how has it influenced you as a young person to be able to strive and achieve all the things that you want to achieve in life? Well, so uh, I, was, I, was I was passionate about the gig, mm -hmm. but then... When I came to Sozo Foundation, they told me that there isn't a facilitator to do here. Mm. So I did. So I went into a a, a, a different but similar cause, yeah. doing beauty. Mm. And doing beauty, it, it opened my eyes so much because why? At the end of the day, I didn't know anything mm. about. Like I didn't have any skill coming from a trick. Getting through a trick into a. a coming into the our environment that we were in. Yeah. Mm. So I didn't know anything. Mm. And the skills that I've learned by Sozo has, has made me positive. It actually gave me positivity mm. yeah. so that I can follow my dreams. And now you are 100% employed. <laughs> come on. Yes, you can uh, open your own come on. and be your own boss. <laughs> yes. yes. Yeah. Oh, man. Well, man, we're still going to talk more about the experiences with both um, Sozo Foundation and, of course, al -Qaeda Foundation. Yeah. Let us know um, what are you doing in your little corner to actually help those who are weak. And, of course, youth unemployment is a huge problem in our country. What do you think can be done to embark and cause fight this huge pandemic of mm. youth unemployment. Yes, ladies and gents, make sure you send us your testimonials, your WhatsApp videos, and then if you're a bit dramatic and you're like, well, I need you to hear my voice, send that voice note over through. We will play it right here on the show. If you want to find out what you think about youth unemployment, what you think, maybe you also on the trick and you need some prayers and you need us to be like, hey, you know, I need advice. I'm not doing well right now. It's okay to admit that you're not okay because that's when you start to become to be okay, because yeah. opening up about something opens you up to see that other people are going through the same thing as well. Right now, though, a quick addy, and we'll see you after this. My happiness is stem from not forgiving you. Got me doing things because I'm trying to move on for you. Buried with emotions, I'm trying to resurface. The light in me keeps flickering. See what's worse is I say that I hate you, but it's really been the opposite. I'm trying to see you smile, doing better with your accomplishments. Real emotions test life unpleasantly. I feel like that's what's scary. Real emotions test life unpleasantly. It's all love team, because it's like... Real emotions test life unpleasantly. You know, you have no way of knowing. Real emotions test life unpleasantly. From the get-go. Yeah, all of my feelings, I'm trying to make sense. Putting myself in your shoes, hoping it fits. I'm not accustomed to hurt, and I'm not used to this. So when that ish happened, I actually lost confidence now. You don't get to be mad that I'm disappointed. We held each other good principle, but you failed to uphold it. You held me accountable for some things I didn't relate with. CTV family.